got another call at about 3.15 this morning. Uh, there were collisions at the uh, higher energy, 2.38, and there was a program uh, that was to be done was to squeeze the beams. Uh, squeezing means actually focusing the beams, making them narrower, so that when they cross, uh, the probability of a pair of protons interacting uh, actually is much higher. So this is one of the steps uh, in, in many steps that still have to be taken, but it's in quite an important step to squeeze the beams and hold them. And the lifetimes of the beams was uh, very good, in fact. And uh, we took some data. You can see one of the events here. They're very pretty, in fact. So it's worth getting the call. Uh, so it came in. Uh, and uh, we've taken data for about uh, 40, 45 minutes and recorded many, many thousands of events. So quite productive. In fact, it's a very nice way to uh, finish the run. Uh, we only started about three and a half uh, weeks ago. Uh, very good progress has been made both by the LHC accelerator and the experiments. Uh, and uh, CMS also uh, made very good progress. Uh, so uh, we demonstrated uh, that we could take uh, uh, data efficiently and that we could analyze the data quite rapidly. Uh, in fact, some of the distributions uh, uh, online, we have lots of monitoring uh, distributions which tell us the experiment is uh, functioning well. Uh, but the ultimate confirmation comes uh, when the data are recorded onto tape and then uh, people analyze it offline. And so a lot of distributions were uh, come out about uh, an hour or so after uh, the data taking finishes. Uh, so it's, uh, it's very encouraging, in fact. And uh, even more encouraging is that when you look at these distributions, the first things we look at are, is the detector functioning well? There are many, many distributions which tell us the, uh, the efficiencies uh, uh, of recording tracks, uh, for example, or reconstructing tracks, uh, and uh, numbers of hits on tracks. Uh, the resolutions in space and time, resolutions in energy, uh, missing energy resolution or missing transverse energy resolution. There are many distributions and what is very encouraging is that almost all of these distributions uh, are in accord with expectations. Now, this is uh, uh, perhaps surprising, but uh, uh, we also, uh, as I said uh, some time ago, we made uh, best use possible of the period after the incident last year. We recorded uh, about a billion uh, cosmic ray muons going through the detector. So in fact, uh, we did understand the detector very well during this period. And it is uh, very uh, satisfying to see this uh, knowledge uh, that we had that the detector is functioning well being confirmed now with collision data. So it's a, a big, big step forward for us. In last Monday, uh, Maria here called me uh, middle of the night, so came in. And it was uh, perhaps uh, even more exciting because that's the first time we saw collisions at this uh, energy of 2.38 TV. This now is the uh, highest energy achieved. Uh, it's higher than uh, what uh, uh, the Tevatron has uh, as such. So it was uh, quite interesting. And we saw such events uh, coming online. It is really very exciting. So uh, we ran for uh, an hour and a half and recorded uh, tens of thousands of events. Uh, now there the beams were just uh, going through each other and there was no attempt to squeeze them. So what's important is that uh, the accelerator tries to squeeze because that's what we've got to do next year. So we're in fact preparing uh, the ground for a uh, rapid uh, restart uh, next year after the technical stop that we're going to have over Christmas.